We are back at SEMA 2022. I am in the JMS booth, which also happens to be the Daytona Sensors booth. I am here with Mark. I am very familiar with your guys' product, uh, Mark, but my viewers have been asking me, what is the deal with the new SmartSpark box? Uh, so we actually came up with a LS SmartSpark box for the TA2 racing program. It is strictly for the TA2 program. Um, it's a fixed box where it has a fixed rev limiter and a fixed ignition curve for the TA2 program. So that is a brand new box, but that's the racing league or a racing circuit that has very little to do with the standard box that I'm more familiar with that yep. we run in the standard consumer yep. racing market. Yep. The regular Smart Spark LS, which is probably my favorite ignition box, especially when it comes to LSs. I wish we had a Smart Spark for every motor, but unfortunately, that's not in the works right now. The Smart Spark also is compatible with a couple other of your guys' products. Can you uh, let me know a little bit about that? Sure, absolutely. So the Smart Spark box can be used with a whole uh, number of our different products, our progressive nitrous controllers, our shift light controllers, just about all of them. Uh, the Wego wide bands, uh, the Wego wide bands also, that's a good one for the LS guys. Um, so it, it's a pretty versatile box. You said shift light. Can you tell me a little, little bit more about the shift light? Sure. For guys that we use the standard 12 volt square wave and it goes through our box. And then so it's a, a programmable shift light that can do per gear or just a straight up uh, RPM. It can be done with like sequential lighting. Uh, you can change the LED colors depending on what you want. You can do a 500 RPM warning light on it before it hits the uh, rev limiting, you can actually choose what color you want to be that before and at the high limit. I myself have been playing with another one of your boxes. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the universal version of the Fuel Max? So sure, the universal Fuel Max, uh, we can do it in either a single channel or dual channel. So the single pump or dual pump. And uh, basically it's a voltage booster that will take the actual battery voltage and then increase it up to 22 volts depending on how you want it as a ground activation a 5 volt activation and you also do a time-based ramp or you can do a ramp by voltage so uh, four tenths of a volt eight tenths of a volt 1.2 tenths of a volt that kind of thing and it's, so that will be from its battery to its max output speaking of the output taking a stock let's say a stock silver auto fuel pump which is actually what I'm in my personal truck about how much more pump can we pull out of it? That's actually going to depend on the size of the fuel lines being used. Um, typically, you know, you could 60, 80 percent more volume using the same system. So, for people that maybe put in like a cam or swap in a set of heads, maybe an intake, and they've got the tune and they're just at the very peak of, let's say, the fuel injectors, they just can't flow enough, or let's say that were standard carbureted LS and they need that little bit of extra fuel on the top end, do you think the fuel max would go ahead and cover that? Absolutely. That's what this is designed for, is for the guys that actually need just more fuel and don't want to cut up the car or have the expense of fuel pumps and different fuel lines and larger fuel lines. You can still keep the OE stuff or whatever you're using to get to your goal. So going back to the carbureted LS guys, what do we have in terms of like tuning? I know we have electronic tuning with the laptop for the SSLS. What do we have for the carburetor itself? So we can use our uh, Weagle Wideband setup along with it and then that way you can actually tune the carburetors, air fuel. So I'm very familiar with your guys' Wego units. Since I'm on E85 on my personal truck, I know you guys have something that's geared more toward uh, the E85. They're on a different scale. Can you tell me about that? Sure. We also offer our Wego Y-bands in a Lambda version also for the guys tuning with ethanol, E85, uh, that kind of thing. Will it also work in, like, let's say, flex fuel situations? Yes, absolutely. So uh, the way it works is uh, we have a version that's our Wego 3D, and you can use a flex fuel sensor, a Bosch-style flex fuel sensor, hook it up to it, and it'll actually tell you your ethanol, and then you flip the switch and go back to Lambda, watching the Lambda, so you know what the ethanol content that you're using at the time of your tuning. All right, well, I do appreciate your time. I know you guys have been super busy all day. I've been trying to get you guys in, like, like, basically two days in a row and it's been really difficult you guys are just jam-packed so I really appreciate you like closing this off and and uh, speaking with me 
uh, we appreciate you and Ernesto. Thank you. All right.